Hey guys, hey going, my name is Dom and today I want to talk about interfaces with TypeScript. So, an interface is basically just a set of rules or a contract for something else, like an object, to actually follow and abide by. So, it's easy to explain with an example. So, let's put ourselves in a situation where an interface might be appropriate. So. Let's make a new function up here and we'll call this function say name. Okay, this function accepts one argument, that being O, short for object. All right, it'll just simply log out the name property of that O object. So we'll say console.log and then here we'll just pass in O.name. All right, quite straightforward. So now with this, we can create a new object down here to pass into that function. So we'll make a new constant and we'll call this one bottle equal to a new object literal. This is a standard water bottle, so it's got to have liters, right? So we'll say liters. It's a one liter water bottle. It also has a name. Okay, so that property right there. So we'll say name and I'll call my bottle in real life Dom's bottle. So we'll say name Dom's bottle, just like that. So now with these two segments here, we can pass in the bottle to that say name function. So we'll say say name and then pass in bottle just like that. Okay, so now if I run this program, we should see Dom's bottle in the console. So I'll say node and then main.js. Press enter and we get Dom's bottle. Perfect. Now what if I was to get rid of the name property like that? If I save this one and rerun the program, we see undefined. And that's clearly, you know, obvious why, because there's no name property on the bottle objects. Name does not exist. So um, there wasn't actually any errors or any warnings about that. No one said you can't do that. Everything looks fine. But as a programmer, you know that in this case right here, the name property is not on the bottle object. But how do you actually enforce that? Well, you can actually use interfaces. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to say that the say name function only accepts properties, sorry, only accepts objects that have the name property. All right, so to do that, we're going to define a new interface. So we'll type out interface, all right, and give it a name of named. So this interface right here is called named, all right, and it's in past tense because an interface is sort of like a marker. It's a contract for an object. It's not an actual object. You're saying, okay, this object is named, and that's why it's in past tense. So that's that. So inside here, we're actually gonna say name, and then string. Okay, so we're saying, okay, if something is named, then it has a property called name of type string. Okay, that's all that's saying. It's a simple, you know, now we can use this marker to apply to an object, all right, or anything in the actual program. So now, what we're gonna do is we're going to say, okay, this say name function accepts only an object which implements the named interface. So we'll say colon of type named. Okay, so now with that right there, we now have our error. It says you can't pass bottle in because it does not contain the name property. All right, so now the desired effect is achieved. We've, we've said, okay, made the interface, this function only accepts named, um, named objects, and now we get our error. So now if I go in here, we say name again, we pass in that, so we um, make that name property. Now, everything is all good. It says name, and we get no more red underline. Run this program, there we are, Dom's bottle. Now, that's the basics of interfaces with properties. You can do the same thing with functions. So for example, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all this stuff right here and start fresh. All right, so what we'll do is define a new interface called printable. So we'll say interface and then printable just like that. Inside here, we're going to make or define a method called print. Okay, give it two brackets and a semicolon. So now this is saying, all right, this is saying that any object that implements this printable um, interface must have the print method on it. Okay, so it works the same way. If I was to define a new uh, object down here called DOM, equal to a simple object literal with a name of DOM, an age of 76 obviously, and a print method. Okay, I'm gonna log out. My name is, and then plus this dot name, and then, and I am, and then plus this dot age. So with this right now, if I was to um, make a new function, something like I don't know, we'll just call this one bottle. Why not? This function accepts a an argument of type printable. So we'll just say maybe we'll call this one p of type printable. The same thing, you know, sort of occurs or applies. So we're just going to say okay, p dot print. All right. So now we're going to pass in into the bottle function. Going to pass in dom. Okay. Boom. So DOM has the print method as defined up here. So that works. If I was to change this to PR double I N T, that no longer works, it's broken. Alright, so that is the basic overview of how you know I'll run this program actually. There we are. So that is the basic overview of how interfaces work in TypeScript. There is more to them, like you can implement interfaces on classes, you can define interfaces, um, you know, make them types when you declare variables, but this is the basic, you know, sort of uh, overview of how interfaces work and what to expect when you encounter them. But that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.